be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and helps with the show, as does going to the Grizzly Gentleman using the same promo code and getting essentially the same discount. What is up, Planeswalkers? Thurk 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, today we're going to be hopping into the first uh, official M21 video I'm making on the channel. Now, first things first, I have to say, um, I attempted to put RTX voice onto my computer. Um, I still have my fan on in my in my very minimal testing because frankly I don't have the damn time. Um, it seemed fine. I'm a little worried that I'm too loud, but that's something that you'll you'll all tell me about because technically speaking, like it it sounds fine to me, but I don't actually know. Um, in addition. Well, no, I, I'm just going to leave that for that video. Never mind. Uh, if you'd like to win uh, some codes, go to my um, opening packs video uh, and then uh, check the pinned, tw uh, pinned tweet, the pinned comments to to have the potential to win. So the first deck we're going to play is uh, what I like to call nonsense. Guys, <laughs> look, I got to keep my ugly face in the way. This deck is one of the the hilarious decks that uh, one of the viewers specifically this was Quarter Knight uh, gave to me. It's a blue black control deck that uses Teferi, Master of Time, as well as Discontinuity to take more turns than my opponent and uh, uses things like Ashiok to win with my opponent's cards. It's great. It's just the nicest thing to do. Um, theoretically, you could run something like Thief of Sandy in here. Um, I don't because I don't care. Anyway. We're running three ops early game. We want to make sure that we're hitting the cards that we need to hit. And uh, ops is just a cheap way to do that. Frantic inventory is a great way to draw a lot more cards as the game goes on. So um, we are essentially a draw go control style deck where we're going to be we're going to be drawing the drawing a card, playing a land, passing the turn. Uh, so if, if at some point we're going to want to really cash in a lot of a uh, frantic inventory card draw. And uh, at least in my practice games, we were able to do that. Two eliminates, one heartless act. Um, since this is the beginning of the, you know, a, a new, a new standard metagame, I suppose. Um, oftentimes, people will be trying to either uh, play very fun, greedy strategies, or there will be people who are trying to play the good decks from last season um, against the the new decks that are not tested. So eliminate is here to deal with a lot of the uh, early drop creatures as well as some Teferis to uh, to deal with those those annoying decks. And Heartless Act is just a generally strong card. We also have four Murder Riders. Uh, they can shore up pretty much the rest of my removal that I need because I'm also running some counter spells. Sinister Sabotage as a three of. Um, one of the big reasons is because at some point uh, we're going to have more lands than we need. Uh, we are running 27 lands, so... At some point, being able to surveil those lands to the bottom is quite nice. You might be noticing that I'm not running Thought Erasure. Excuse me. Um, as I said, this is more of a draw style instant speed control deck, so that's kind of the main reason why I'm not running Thought Erasure in this. We're also running three Rewind. Uh, it's a new spell. We can counter something of our opponents and then kill something else. It is it essentially is just real good. It rewind is just uh, is real nice. <laughs> three Teferi Master of Times. Teferi does dumb things. I'm going to essentially be able to draw a card and discard a card, searching deeper for my Ashioks and my discontinuities, and I'll be able to phase things out. It's it's just uh, it's just annoying, frankly. It's just annoying. Two Extinction Events and two Ritual Soots. These are my board wipes to shore up any of the annoying uh, nonsense that have gotten past these. And then, of course, three Ashiok Nightmare Muse. The main win condition in the deck, to be honest, um, because Ashiok allows us to steal our opponent's cards and use them as our own. Um, obviously, if our opponent has too many uh, annoying creatures or something on the board, you can't necessarily uh, ensure Ashiok is going to survive, but that's why we have the rest of this. And then, of course, Discontinuity. Now, if it's our turn, we can go ahead and pay two to just end our turn. If our opponent's trying to do something fishy uh, at instant speed on our end step, we're close to our end step. Might as well just end the turn anyway. We are going to lose a bit of the utility, but if they're doing something critically uh, important for the strategy, we can just end, their turn, or end our turn. Or, we can wait until they have six mana, and then on their upkeep, before they draw, we can end their turn. Functionally, functionally, we take an extra turn. <laughs> Ooh, it's fun. This is our mana base. It's pretty basic. We got our water graves. We got our temple of deceits. You know what? I'm actually going to throw in a uh, castle Vantress in here. Vantress is a little bit more important. Uh, we'll just do one, too. Uh, a little bit more important than um, Lockthwain. Goodness. Because Lockthwain 
it draws cards, but also loses his life. And I don't want that. So we're going to hop in. Spoiler. <laughs> and I'm going to go into play mode because shut up. I'm a bad person. Going against Regent. Yeah, hand seems fine. Um, do I want to opt on turn one? I don't need to. No, opt on turn one seems unnecessary here. I would rather uh, leave up Heartless Act, and if I don't end up using it, I can opt uh, afterwards. Oh, look! So now the question is, um, so this this is most likely going to be um, mono blue tempo. Of so well, we're not playing this in historic. If we're not playing this in historic, then I don't think it's as likely that we're going up against mono blue tempo. At the same time, I don't really want to be put in a position where that's just on the field, but I think. I think it's it's not necessarily something that I do want to trade in for. Yeah, okay. So now it looks more like it is its spells. So I will take this L. Because it's only one. And I might want to kill something else. Out of Sage, definitely unfortunate. Sprite Dragon is something I would prefer to kill. So I will just opt here. Uh, another Teferi. Uh, another Teferi is nice. Especially if there are running counter spells, although I feel like this deck is likely going to be a little bit more proactive. So I do think I'm going to tuck the, the Time Master away for, for the time being. <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, yeah, now now here we're, we're in a pretty decent spot. If I have to, I can Murder Rider, but otherwise I just Heartless Act the Sprite Dragon. And now we need to wait for them to cast a spell. If we cast Heartless Act first... Okay, they decided not to be greedy. Very interesting. Uh, if, they, if I cast Heartless Act first then they could respond with a spell such that I wouldn't be able to kill Sprite Dragon. Um, I'm going to do it now. Let's see if they have something to say to Sprite Dragon. They don't. Okay. So here... Um, the thing is, this has haste. No, oh, so maybe they did have something. Um... I don't think I need to put Teferi out there just yet. I think I'm going to hold up Rewind plus Murder Shredder on this, potentially. Yeah, not entirely sure, but... We'll see. I just don't want uh, Teferi to, to go into a position where he's going to get hurt. <laughs> uh, I, can, I can see all of the hatred now, my commenters. You were supposed to defeat the, the Teferis, not join them. Oh, this is just the beginning. <laughs> By the way, if you'd like to see me play a, um, a specific deck, absolutely post a, a link to Aether, a, a Aether Hub deck list in the, uh, in the comments. I will absolutely check them out. It really does help me because I don't necessarily have uh, all, enough time to, um, to build all of the, the cool decks, the interesting decks that I might just not recognize because they're not as, um, they don't include like the most in your face cards or whatever. Um, and hell, even if you do have decks that include the most in-your-face cards, uh, I still might want to see those because it essentially just makes it so I have a uh, an easier time putting that deck on the channel. So um, if I don't have that, okay, that's that's very fine. You have uh, you have still made an error though, in that you thought that this wouldn't happen. Could have waited. I guess I didn't want to get countered again. Sure, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so here I'm just going to have the center tapped. I will go ahead and cast a fairy here, uh, and I'm going plus. Now I need another land for the discontinuity, but it's fine, and I can use to fairy at instant speed, so I'm not too worried about needing to phase this out just yet. Okay, don't know what that's happening. Um, yeah, so in response to that, I'm going to phase this out. That way they also don't get the scry. Fantastic. 
So, hmm. I can hold up the, the rewind. I think I'm gonna... Get rid of Ash, y'all. I'll, I'll plus first. I'm gonna eat this to parry. Play Ashiok. Okay. So Teferi might bite the dust. Teferi is going to bite the dust. Are they both biting the dust? I should have got rid of re Rewind. I don't know why I did that. No, I can save my Ashiok. Teferi's ripped, though. That was helpful. I shouldn't have gotten rid of this land. I should have gotten rid of the uh, Rewind earlier. Got there. Um, right, so if if uh, if I have to build the deck, and then, like, you know, I have to deal with uh, making the mana base all, like, right and things, and um, pseudo-testing it, I suppose, um, then it would take a little bit more time for me to get that on the channel. Whereas if someone gives me a deck list, I can say, okay, I like this deck list. Uh, let's take it for a single game. We'll make very relatively minor changes, and then bada bing, bada boom, I can actually just like pl play the deck on the channel. So it is a lot easier for me. Uh, so if you would like, mm. a terrible idea but i am nothing if not a man of greed you shouldn't be able to do anything just just no opt. no cool that was like the best outcome i think uh, i will absolutely keep that though cool so simic is this uh, is this Eugenie based ramp? Potentially. And we pass. We can frantic inventory here. End of turn. Let's see a, a gross spiral. Oh, wow! Who would have thought it's Simic Ramp? Uh, okay, so Simic Ramp is potentially fine because one of the one of the main problems with Ramp is that they only have so much um, payoff spells. That op makes me not sure it's Ramp though. Uh, but generally speaking, they only have so many payoff spells. So if you're able to just counter those, then. Generally speaking, you should be okay. Respond to them, not necessarily counter. But it might not be Simic. It could potentially be Teamer. My opponent is playing Song of Creation Sleeve. It is Teamer. It's a Teamer Reclamation. That's fine. So my opponent is playing Teamer. They do have Opt. Are they just playing uh, Song of Creation? Would be interesting, I suppose. Notably, they did not get another land. So that is a yikes for them. We play this and we pass. And I probably don't even cast Ashok until I have, uh, like, 8 mana. Disgusting. Having different basic lands is one thing. Having completely different ops? Shame on you, way wareth. Disgusting. Anyway, I have some uh, good old-fashioned Discord questions. If you'd like to ask me questions to uh, answer on uh, videos, then feel free to join my Discord. Links in the description. Ooh, this is a yeesh for my opponent. I'm just passing the turn. Like, I, I'm not under any duress right yet. Five minutes. How about no? Fuck it. 
fucking missing the speed, you shit. I'm actually I'm actually just gonna lose now. I'm gonna cast this. And it's gonna get countered. Bruh. Bruh. Alright, well, it didn't get countered. I wonder if you're brave enough to overcome your fears. I'm just gonna force them to cast it again. Essence scatter. Alright. So yeah, it looks like my opponent is just straight up playing Team of Reclamation. Which means, like, all of these are garbage? Fuck. Alright, well, I'm boned. Um, Krups asks, have I read up on the jumpstart lore? I have. It's okay. <laughs> um, Lolly Bible asks, I was looking at odd cards and I wanted to know what your thoughts on Sundial of the Infinite are. Um, some good reactions here. Uh, I, I think it, it's pretty easy for me to say it's a, it should be known as Fun Dial of the Infinite. Uh, it, it can lead to very interesting things uh, occurring in, um, in Commander. Sure. Just gotta pass the like I can take three. Like I'm not I'm not worried about that at all. Which they're gonna cast that looks like. You hit me first, makes sense. Um, someone whose name is I Hate Tybalt now wants to know if I hate Narset EDH, even if it only has one extra something spell. I assume they mean extra turn spell. Um, I don't generally hate Commander's Wholesale. It entirely depends on not only uh, the rest of the deck, but also how you choose to pilot that deck. I'm not sure that results. Maybe I shouldn't be in play mode. So, so the issue, so, so one of the issues, right, is that, and I guess you could you could argue I'm doing something similar by playing a control deck in general, but I am trying a decent number of new cards. Um, but my opponent is, I, I look, I'm not trying to be mean or like judgmental per se. My opponent is playing this deck to essentially crush the people who are trying to uh, to play new cards. And the issue is that because he's playing it in uh, unranked, it means that like, he's not even getting a benefit out of him. I shouldn't say he's a he, but whatever. He's playing as Ral, so I'm going to say he. Um, like, they're not even really getting a benefit out of playing this deck in unranked. Like, I'm playing this deck in unranked because I want to be matched up against other new decks because I'm playing a decent number of new cards. Um, but unfortunately... My opponent might counter this, which wouldn't be terribly wrong. I'm fine with this being, um, no, I'm not, I'm not fine with uh, losing my initiative, essentially. Getting prepped to do something stupid. <laughs> Let's see. Krups asks, what storyline would I like to see resolved first? Soren versus Nahiri, um, with assumed Emrakul shenanigans, or Karn versus New Phyrexia? It depends on what you mean by resolved. Um, I would like to revisit the Phyrexians first, because we haven't seen them in the longest. Um, but it really does depend on how exactly it's resolved, because Karn just, like, popping in there, saving the day... Uh, with a bunch of Phyrexians, that's not satisfying to me. Um, this is fine, this can resolve.
just like a lot of people weren't satisfied with uh, not enough planeswalkers dying in War of the Spark, which I'm actually not one of those people, um, I wouldn't be sad. My opponent's just taking a lot of luck. Like they're they're trying to pump a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff into expansion explosion, I guess. But yeah, I, I wouldn't be satisfied with uh, a a functional retcon of uh, new of New Phyrexia's story, because the the Mirans are on the brink of extinction, if not actually extinct. Okay, that's fine. Why shock yourself so much if you're not going to use this mana? That results. Cycle Shark Typhoon for a decent amount, sure. Yeah, so they're going with the safe route, which is correct. I'm gonna kill Uro as well. I probably should have conceded as soon as I realized uh, my opponent was on Team Marek. Yeah, there's not really a point in me trying to continue that. It would just mean that, uh, yeah, it would mean that it would have to be the last game this video, and uh, I'm not done with that shit. Right, we're gonna we're gonna hop into standard ranked to see if we can find any any difference. Because I mean, I'm I'm low ranked right now, so hopefully I'll find some other people who got sick of playing against meta decks. Wait, what was the first deck that we bought? Ah, oh, blue red spells. Um, blue red spells seems fine. It's strong. Joe Valentine. I'm sure that's a reference to something that I don't get. Um, I have 27 lands, so you'd think that this would be a fine keep. I'm gonna keep it. I, I just, I'm just, I'm too greedy. I'm just too greedy. But I, I have to do it. I have the discontinuity. I want to actually show off the thumbnail in the video. Nails it. Okay. Is this just mono white like here? No, they would have played the pride mate. They had one. Another Elsa, sure. Come on, I have two draws to draw lands. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The issue is I have nothing to do on this turn. So at this point, I'm just looking for one of my board wipes. I only have four, unfortunately, so. Uh, this, statistically speaking, not the highest of occurrence. They are playing mono white. They're playing life game. Okay. It's nice, I suppose. Um, plus three to four, minus three and one doesn't actually do as much as I blank. So I'm just gonna hold up rewind, I guess. By the way, Rewind, really good with Castle Ventures. No!
Unfortunately, these things are going to get bigger. Fortunately, my board wipes still get rid of them. I might have to play a sacrificial Teferi here. I think I need to play a sacrificial Teferi, uh... In order to get, um... A Black Source. If nothing else, I will protect the multiverse. Let me eat that. Um, I'm waiting on whether or not to just plus the Teferi, uh, or phase something out based on what my opponent does. If they just, if like they just attack Teferi, I'm just gonna plus because he he would die either way, and I wanna I wanna get the uh, the board wipe juice. <laughs> um, otherwise, I might need to. All right. Well, I assume by sitting Teferi. Well, that's helpful. Um, is it correct to get rid of Ritual of Soot? Probably not, no. I don't want to get rid of Discontinuity. Like, I want to actually show the, the, the damn card off. Okay, so I'm gonna tick six, gonna go down to seven. Um, I'm gonna have to exile these. Because um, they both become eight. Uh, they both become four, so it'd be eight damage. Um, I would love to hit the Heliod with my Extinction event. Uh, so, okay, so if I top deck a Black Source, then I'll probably Ritual. My opponent seems to be gone. It's potential that they de-seed, because apparently... The DC issue has increased. Quoth the Raven uh, asks, Do you have any thoughts on the more obscure formats such as Popper, Penny Dreadful, or Canadian Highlander? Uh, would you ever consider doing any of them as a one-off thing? So, um, Penny Dreadful, Dreadful, I don't actually know all that much about. Uh, Popper, I have a deck for. Um, it is... <laughs> it's Turbo Fog. It is, a, it is a mill deck. It is a mill control deck in which I just refuse to take damage. Um, Canadian Highlander is something I'm interested in generally, but I I don't know where I would start, and I don't have the player base for I don't have essentially the incentives to to do Highlander stuff. That said, um. One of the Canadian Highlander peoples, uh, Ben Wheeler, has a arena format called Gladiator. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So my opponent, unfortunately, looks like the DC. Um, sure. I should have done that instant speed. No, I wanted the land, right? Um, and I can just sabotage something, so. Yeah. Right. Uh, my opponent might just straight be gone, though. Um... Gladiator is a uh, is a format that I will be investing in um, a little bit more heavily, especially since it's an arena only format, so it's not as hard to do. Um, uh, it's it's difficult for me to do any other like content that isn't on arena already, um, just because I guess the ease at which I can uh, create arena content. So someone uh, at some point has asked about um, MTGO content, and my I don't know if I, I don't know if I responded, um, but my response essentially is MTGO is it's just difficult for me to get into, right? Like I'm sure once I get the hang of it and everything, um, it'll be fine. I'll be able to make um, like modern content, uh, especially modern Death and Taxes is something I'd really like to to play on the channel, 
but getting to the point, like getting to that point, uh, is essentially just too much work for me. And you might be saying, like, why is it too much work? I still, like, still technically, like, I do make make some money from this, um, but it is it is still a hobby, right? Um, I am a full time student during the summer. I'm not nearly as full time, so I'm able to produce more content for you, like uh, Stone Shard and stuff. But on a general time uh, time scale, I can't actually do that. Now, you might be a little disappoint disappointed. I wasn't able to get discontinuity off. I do apologize for that. Uh, so uh, in recompense, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to packs, uh, buy uh, this, and uh, we're going to open 90 packs. As a, as a bit of a as a bit of a, a, a thank you for watching the, this video. And... I hope, so like, I'm going to open the one and then I'm just going to open ten, nine times. Um, <laughs> new sets releasing are typically high times for growth. Um, my channel recently has had a, a nice little growth spurt from CGB. Um, and I can't, I can't say how much I appreciate that. Um, but there was a, oh, Ugin! There was a point in time where my videos, um, after a single day, were hitting, like, 20, 20,000 views. And that was wild. But that was, like, in my first year. And I haven't been able to get um, back to that since. I don't even think I've been able to get up to 10,000 views um, consistently. Fucking more Ugins, dude! Alright, uh, some sort of Ugin deck is something I have to make next, I guess. Wait, today is... Today's Thursday, which means it's Friday for... Oh, wait. Technically, it means it's Wildcard Friday, but it's a new set. I'll give this one a pass. Um, so I'll be playing Ugin soon, but you all have to make the Ugin deck. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm garbage. Like, I need help. <laughs> I don't know how to make ramp. I have a, a mono green ramp deck that I might use. Is it mono green? I think it's mono green. Uh, look, did we, like, legit just get four Ugins? I think we legit just got four Ugins. Okay. I have four Ugins. You can't see it because my ugly face is in the way. I have four Ugins. So, I feel like I need to make this as my next uh, next next deck. So, if you have an Ugin deck that you'd like to see me play, a certain a certain form of Ugin build, put that shit in the comments, bro. Um, right, so so a goal, a goal I have um, between now and uh, Zendikar Rising is to have a week... Where all of my, like, so, I, I mean, I can, I can even say my videos haven't been getting 5,000 views. Um, I'm just triple checking that that is the case still. Yeah. Yeah, so the CGB videos both got up to about 3,000. But before that, it's relatively low. So my hope is that I can have a week a week of magic videos, so that doesn't include Stone Shard. I don't expect Stone Shard to get all that many views. Um, but a week of magic videos that get up to 5,000 views. Um, it's it's just a personal goal. If it if I fail in it, it's it's you know it's not a big deal. But it's something that I would I would like to have. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I thanks everyone for uh, the continued support. Legit. Uh, including all of my patrons, including James. Hey, James on there too. Um, what was I saying? Words, words are hard. Right. Uh, if you'd like to join me and support the show uh, financially, you can put find that in the description below. Um, otherwise, uh, honestly, the best way to support me is by pressing that like button and commenting, because then YouTube shows me around like I'm the a prize horse. Uh, and if you don't do that, then YouTube doesn't show me. Uh, and in fact, they make it harder for me to be seen by even the people who are subscribed. So. Um, engagement, engagement is super important. I don't know why this video got, like, all kind of sad. Am I sad right now? I don't think I am. I guess the fact that I don't know isn't great. Hmm. I don't know. Leave your, uh, leave your deck links in the description below, though. That, that would be, that'd be very helpful. Not the description, the comments.
yeah uh until next time i'll be one <laughs>